Zealand. Kia ora. Um, I call Ana Hila Kanonga Taa Suisuki. Uh, te nākoi, um, te māngai o te whare. It's uh, a privilege to stand and take a call on this very important subject, health. My uh, kōrero today is going to be based on leadership. And I want to, um, because Tongan is my first language, I want to um, define what the leadership means to me. So uh, I bring the, uh, the chair of the Tongan Language Year Committee, translate leadership into the Tongan language as tauhikakai, which um, when you flip that into English, it says it's about caring for people. So how you conduct the caring is how you lead. So for me, I want to acknowledge the leadership of all the DHB that has come before the Health Select Committee. I want to acknowledge, uh, highlight um, uh, one thing that I liked or what they shared and uh, bring my concern into, which, um, into the leadership of the last nine years. I want to acknowledge the DHBs that reported to the Health Select Committee. They talked about their report, the highest ranked uh, they reported on was immunisation of the under twos. Most of the DHBs has actually were over 90% that achieved that immunisation. But what concerned me was, uh, was then they reported um, in terms of, uh, uh, of um, the workforce was what they said, but we had to achieve year on savings, which are significant. And how I relate that to the workforce is the thing that worried me when each DHB, majority of the DHB had reported was that their people were overworked. DHBs were overworked and they had to rely on the goodwill of people. They had to rely on the goodwill of their staff to continue working within their own DHB. I, uh, I want to... Um, uh, 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 note, somebody had said before that this government had, um, had given the past government of the last nine years, had given this government the best sets of books. I want to question that leadership in terms of what we have found out in Counties Manukau. What we found out, uh, the reports from the Auckland DHB, Counties uh, Manukau DHB, Waitemata DHB, they talked about avoidable hospitalisation, and they also talked about unprecedented demand, which the chair, uh, Louisa Wall, has focused, had, had, uh, uh, highlighted also. Unprecedented demand on services, which, uh, of course, had led to overworked uh, staff and, um, and in terms of the workforce. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, Mr Chair, I want to acknowledge the leadership of the Minister, uh, the Honourable David Clark because he has realised we are going to go into what we now know as unprecedented cost of neglect by the leadership of the last government. We found out that in Middlemore, so, you know, the ordinary New Zealander um, listening to this would hear many millions and billions of figures being thrown in the air. So to the ordinary New Zealander, what does that million look like? But what it means is that we found out in Counties Manukau at Middlemore Hospital that seven buildings require maintenance. Not, it didn't just happen overnight. Uh, if, you, if you look at a, a boil, it actually, um, if, uh, my analogy of this is like having a boil. You know, when you're having a boil, it sort of comes to the burst. And it doesn't happen overnight. It comes to the burst because... There was no attention. It was neglected. Luckily, this government had come along and we talked about having an inquiry for mental health. We talked about an inquiry because the leadership of this government is about listening to the voice of experience. And the voice of experience is actually listening before you make a decision. Before you can say we've had the best sets of books, I want to question the leadership in the last nine years. Is Middlemore Hospital the best set of books you've left. As Middlemore Hospital, who consists of the most socially deprived pop of our population, did you leave them in the best sets of books? Well, I'm oh, sorry to bring you into that. Did the last government, and I take to you, no. The last government didn't do that. Luckily enough, the boil has burst in time where this government is taking the leadership by caring for people. Leadership is about caring for people. It is not about caring for the books. 
Mr. Speaker, that's me for today. <laughs> uh, I call Matt Ducey. Oh, much, Mr Chair. Very good call. Uh, this is the first time we've had an appropriation debate 